Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install a new Wi-Fi driver in a Windows 10, Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 7. It's work on the all Windows operating system. So let's do the, our video. I give the multiple methods to download and install our Wi-Fi driver in any Windows operating system. So let's do the, our video. Our first method is very simple. First, we go to the start, right click on the start and here we find many options, right click, not a left click, right click on the start. Here we find many options, click on the device manager, click on device manager. In a device manager, we find many options. Here we find main option is network adapters, expand network adapters. Here we find our all network adapters and ethernet or the cable network. In, in this case, this is the my Wi-Fi network. Select the, your Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi card or the your Wi-Fi adapter, select your Wi-Fi, right click on the your Wi-Fi and here we find first option is update drivers we first go to the update drivers click on the update drivers here we find two options first we see this option search automatically for drivers click on that and if your internet is on if you're using internet from your mobile usb cable or ethernet then it search on the internet and if it's find the latest drivers then it is automatically install or go to the next next and install this in this case my latest drivers is already installed so it's not good the latest driver our second option or second method is go to the network adapters select our wi-fi right click on the our wi-fi click on the update here we find browse my computer for drivers click on the browse my computer for drivers we are not going to the first option we see this option in the next next step we are going to this let me pick for a latest available drivers on my computer click it here and if any Packed driver, any packed working drivers are, are, are available. If two, three drivers are available, then select the working drivers that you want. I select this driver. You can select any drivers. If two or three or multiple drivers are available, click on that drivers and click on the next. It's install your drivers on your PC or laptop and it's take some minutes. So be a patient and wait for a few minutes to install your drivers on your PC or laptop. After our installation is complete. My installation is complete. Click on the close and restart our machine and check our Wi-Fi adapter or the Wi-Fi is working or not. If this is also not working, then I give the another method. Another method is go to the, your network adapters, go to the here Wi-Fi, right click on it. And this time click on the uninstall device, click on the uninstall device and click on the uninstall. And after that, restart your machine and after restarting our machine, our drivers are automatically installed on our PC or laptop. This is the most simplest way. And if it's these three methods are not working, then I give the final method. Our final method is download the, our drivers from the net. And then after that, install that drivers on the our PC or laptop. If you are not active internet connection on your PC or laptop, then go to the any other PC, laptop or mobile and download these drivers. I give the way to download these drivers. I first close this and first thing is go to your machine. Start, right click on the start. We are going to find the hardware ID of the, our Wi-Fi. That is very easy. Go to start, right click on the start. Here we find device manager. Click on the device manager. In a device manager, we find many options expand network adapters expand network adapters here we find wi-fi select your wi-fi wi-fi card wi-fi adapter or wi-fi uh, wi-fi right click on the your wi-fi click on the properties in a properties here we find details click on the details in a details here we find property in a property we find device description click on the device description here we find hardware ids click on the hardware ids click on the hardware ids and select the first value select this first value whatever first value is selected select the, your first value right click on the your first value and click on copy copy it and click on the ok and close it and after that go to the desktop click on the new and click on the text document and open the text document and paste this value at here paste this value and if you have not an active internet connection on your PC or laptop, then save this file. I have saved this file and go to the any other PC, laptop or any other mobile 
and do the same thing i downloading i am going to the download the our drivers so do this thing on your pc or laptop any other pc or laptop copy this and go to our browser go to the any browser that you like i am going to the google chrome you can go to the any web browser that you like i am going to the google chrome i go to the google chrome i go to the google and here i type driver pack solution type driver pack solution type driver pack solution and go to the first link from the driver pack open the first link driver pack and here we find in a driver pack website here we find driver search click on the driver search and paste that link or the paste that text at here paste it paste this text at here and click on the find and it's automatically find the latest drivers for your lan card or the your wifi card or the wifi adapter or the wifi select the here we find the our device name here we find install drivers automatically or go to the here here we find the our operating system if your operating system is right not right then click it here and select windows 11 if windows 11 if windows 10 go to the windows 10 if windows 10 64 bit then download the 64 bit driver if your machine is 32 bit then download the 86 in my case my machine is 64 bit i check the my bit that is very easy go to the desktop here we find this pc right click on the this pc here we find properties click on the properties in a properties here we find system type if system type is 64 bit that means that machine is 64 bit if system type is 32 bit that means that machine is 32 bit operating system machine this machine is 64 bit so i go to the here and i download the 64 bit select windows 10 64 bit if windows 10 64 bit drivers are not available then go to windows 8 8.1 64 bit or 86 bit depending on the your bit same thing with the windows 7 windows 7 64 bit or 86 bit use any drivers that you want if you not using current drivers then it is not installed click on the your install correct bit and the operating system and after that here we find three links down install drivers automatically don't use this this download the this software driver pack software also don't download these three links this also contain the software but at the bottom scroll down and go to the bottom at the bottom we find this link and this is the our driver link this is the our most imp driver link click at here and our download is started at here wait for a few minutes and it's completed in a few minutes click at here and click on show in folder minimize it and drag this setup file to desktop and close it here is the our drivers file and we are going to extract this driver file this is the actually a zip file right click on it click on the extract files click on the okay and here we find the our folder double click on it 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 and here we find our drivers and we are going to install this drivers manually that is very easy and simple way in windows 10 go to the start right click on the start not a left click right click on the start here we find device manager click on the device manager in a device manager once again we find the same option go to the same option network adapters expand network adapters here we find our wifi select our wifi or the wireless network click on that right click on that and this time go to the update drivers we are going to the update our drivers click on the update drivers in a update drivers we find two options go to the browse my computer for drivers click on that here we find the path click on this browse and select this include this subfolder also select this include subfolder and click on the browse go to the desktop in a desktop here we find the our file name click on that file name it's automatically select our drivers click on the okay and click on the next it's installing our drivers and it is take one or two meeting minutes depending on the our pc or laptop speed speed and the file size so be a patient and wait for one or two minute to install our appropriate drivers on our windows 10 pc or laptop my drivers is now completely installed it's take one or two seconds or two or five seconds wait for five seconds here we find my drivers are installed close it and here we find our network adapters okay Exp unexpand this 
and close this close device manager and after that i am using the ethernet connection or cable internet so i disconnect from that i go to the start and control panel click on the panel in a control panel here we find network and sharing center click on the network and sharing center here we find change adapter settings click on the change adapter settings here we find ethernet i close this ethernet and my wi-fi is connected it is connecting so wait for a few seconds my drivers are my wi-fi is connected now i go to the here and it's automatically connect to the my wi-fi or the my wireless network or the my router if it's not connected then connect and add your password and connect to your internet i'm going to the my google chrome and search for anything i first search for the google i search for the google and we can see my google is appear that means my wireless network or the wi-fi is 110 percent working in a windows 10 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share Comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.